Hey viewers, hey subscribers, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you all who are new to the channel, welcome to my returning subscribers, welcome back. So, y'all, this reading is a collective reading, and this reading is a lot different than most of the other readings that I normally do, like the zodiac signs, for example, um, no communication, no contact, you know, all the, you know, all the typical readings that we normally do. So I know y'all are curious. This reading is a Roe versus weight reading because I want to weigh in and see what spirit has to say about the possibility of abortion laws within the United States changing and how it may affect the general collective. So if you are curious, just as I am curious, keep watching this video. Please keep in mind, there are no, this is not anything to do with the zodiac signs. Also, this reading is not to offend anyone. It's just to simply ask spirit what messages come out in the cards, what the cards show in regards to if abortion laws are changed or passed, or if they stay the same, what's the possible outcome, just like we would do in a typical general reading. So without further ado, let's hop right in. Also, if you enjoy the reading, please feel free to like, subscribe, share the video, and hit that notification bell. All right, so let's get into it. First off, let's see what the ancestors have to say about it. We're going to go in with my Tao Oracle deck. This is an ancient Chinese Oracle deck that I love to use for ancestral guidance. Let's find out from the Spirit Divine Source. Please show me the messages for the general collective in regards to the Roe versus Wade situation currently happening in the United States. Ancestors of the light, please show us the messages you have for the collective in regards to the abortion laws being challenged. What's the message, Spirit? Please keep in mind if this is something that is a sensitive topic for you, feel free to click off my video now because um, what's going to be said is whatever messages come through from Spirit in the cards. And like I said earlier, I'm not here to offend anyone, just simply present the information as it's given to me. So let's go. All right, Spirit. Ooh. All right. We have small is beautiful. And as you can see here, it's like there's like lavender here in the background. There's a butterfly and there is a red line here in this card. So first thing the ancestor said, find the extraordinary in the ordinary. Keep it simple. Use discretion. Slow down. Tend to details and pay attention. So you know they're going to really, really, you know, work this whole situation up in the media about abortion laws being changed, how women should have the right to their bodies, pro-choice, all of these things. And then, of course, you have the other, the opposing team saying, um, all life matters, you know what I mean? All life matters against abortion, et cetera, et cetera. No matter where you stand, Spirit's saying, the ancestors are saying, use discretion. Use your discretion in this situation. Slow down and tend to the details Pay attention. Pay attention to what the politicians are saying, the lawmakers are saying, the Supreme Court is saying. Pay attention to the, the evidence that the doctors who are, you know, who are there present during the trial. Pay attention to people who've had abortions. What are they saying? What has their experiences been like? Um, and if you've been through this, you probably know exactly how it feels. You know what I mean? You, you know how it feels and... Um, the emotional drawbacks of abortion. Yes, everybody wants to say um, pro-choice, you know, women should have the right over their bodies, but at the same time, it does come with drawbacks. That's a fact that's been, that you can go and look it up if you don't believe me. A lot of doctors have done research on um, the after effects of a woman psychologically after she's had an abortion. It's, it's very, it's an emotional experience, you know, and it's not an easy situation to be in in the first place. I, I honestly believe that and this is just my personal opinion. I don't believe a lot of women have abortions um, just because for shits and giggles, because it's just something that they just wanted to do. That's a life. You know what I mean? Um, it's a situation. It's kind of like how sometimes you're in a situation where you have to defend yourself. And even if that means taking another life. So there's that. We have completion, final attainment, victory, a crescendo, Job well done, perfection, peak performance, and prudence. Um, there's going to be a determined outcome from this. 
There's going to be a determined outcome from this with completion. I, this could also be the ancestor's message to us collectively that this is going to be a closing out of a cycle of karma, karmic debts that are being paid because after all these years now, they're wanting to revisit the situation with abortion laws. They're wanting to look at it from a different angle. And this could be the final victory. This could be the final attainment. Um, you know, it's it's this is probably the last go round of this. Hopefully it's the last go round. At least we hope so anyway. And I feel like the ancestors are feeling the same way. Like we hope this is done and over with. Um, too many, too many babies have lost their lives. Too many people have suffered in the process. And of course there are certain conditions where um, medically where a pregnancy can be terminated. And I'm not referring to those situations, but it's just, um, it's one of those things. You know, it's one of those things. All right, let's get one more card and see what the ancestors have to say in regards to Roe versus Wade and abortion. And then we're going to ask for how would the abortion laws affect relationships? How, if the abortion laws change, how would it affect intimate relationships between couples? We have dispersion, diffuse negativity, restore harmony, circulate revitalize, dissolve divisions, lighten up. This trial, this revisiting of this Roe versus Wade, it's going to be an opportunity for the country, the world actually, to diffuse a lot of negativity, to restore harmony, to restore balance. Like I said, it's a cycle that's coming to a completion. It's coming to an end. There has to be a final victory, a crescendo. It's like reaching a certain point, a certain peak where we have to unanimous, unanimously decide what's going to work best for everyone. In different because everybody has in life there's so many different situations that can happen um so the, that's what the ancestors have to say about it they believe this is going to be um an opportunity to restore balance dissolve divisions and help to help people to gain a better perspective and understanding of um abortion laws why they're in place and you know what, how the things women have to go through when it comes to pregnancy and childbirth and things of that nature and even women who've had this experience um it's important it's definitely important all right spirit let's get into how how would abortion loss changing affect relationships how would abortion loss changing affect intimate relationships No longer coming, no longer, um, whoever comes to you with some type of sexual or, or, or intimate offer is not coming, is, they're not going to be coming to give you very little. They're not coming to give you, <laughs> they're not playing small is what I heard. So, you know, if abortion laws were to change, the Spirit's first answer is whoever comes towards you, this person is not coming in a page of pinnacle energy. They're not coming to play games. They're not coming with that childlike, immature energy towards you yeah with the ace of wands they're not coming to just and it came out in reverse they're not coming to just hit it and quit it the ace of wands is in reverse and y'all know what the ace of wands means in tarot y'all know what that is <laughs> it's the magic stick yeah if they come to you now they're gonna come to you um they're going to come to you wanting to work through any challenges that you ha may have if abortion laws were to change and be, let's say, you know, things change and then abortion became illegal or um, only allowed in certain circumstances, it would cause, it would definitely cause the opposite sex to really think carefully before they come and offer someone else an offer. And it also would cause, I feel like both men and women, um, time to really think about if they're ready to handle having a child the obstacles before they move forward before they make a decision they're going to be more balanced i got justice here they're going to think about what's fair in the situation if the abortion laws change to where abortion either becomes illegal or it becomes 
only acceptable in certain circumstances. They're going to start really thinking things through and not just acting impulsively. Because you know the Ace of Wands is definitely, big fire energy is definitely impulsive, act, you know, it's fire energy. So people just out here willy-nilly, you know what I'm saying, slanging and banging all over the place is not going to be happening. People are going to really have to think about, okay, what's fair in this situation? There, there could be a life at stake here. So I'm really going to have to consider my options before I just go out here doing whatever, you know? And look at this. Boom. We got the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> so there may actually be more committed. There may be people willing to have more committed relationships because they know now, okay, listen, abortion's not an option. So now I literally have to take care of a child if a life is created. Um, or, or um, maybe give a child up for adoption as an option if I'm not able to financially support a family. This, the people are going to be more apt to create a family is what I'm getting. And the Ace of Pentacles is also earth energy and earth energy is also very practical and very grounded. All right, Spirit, tell me a little bit more. Tell me a little bit more. Yeah, people are going to want to heal their relationships more. We got the star card here. People are going to want to really work things out. They're going to have the desire to work things out. They're going to have the desire to make peace with their partner and move forward. Yeah, to move forward. I don't think they're going to be so focused on petty things anymore because they're going to realize, okay, we have maybe have a child coming into this world. We really want to work this out. We really want to try to move forward in a more peaceful energy. And I can't just get rid of for lack of better words of this life you know i have to be in this fully or not be in it at all so wow amazing thank you spirit amazing the messages that come out yeah also um the masculine energies will be more like more understanding more emotionally supportive because a lot of times men don't really understand what pregnancy carries they don't understand what women go through you know physically the physical changes in the woman's body during pregnancy so they'll be more supportive they won't be so quick to just cut you off look at this they'll actually want to talk about whatever it is you know what i'm saying like how to work the situation out you won't be just getting blocked and stuff like that because they understand okay legally i could be charged <laughs> legally i could be fined you know if i um if i get someone pregnant and try to pay for them to have an abortion you know what i mean so they're going to be willing to try to work things out to make peace to heal things with the star card six of swords is moving forward moving into um a more peaceful energy leaving a toxic situation they're going to want to try to work things out they're going to have the desire to manifest a connection they're going to have the desire to manifest a connection and actually operate in a king of swords energy where they're open honest about what they what they have going on or what what they desire with you um i'm saying masculine energies because it's typically heterosexual but it could apply to any couple you know what i mean um people are going to really want to try to stick things out for the sake of children if abortion laws change because it definitely will have a strong impact on your household you know what i mean even financially it'll have a strong impact so they're going to want to try to work things out for the sake of that child, the unborn child, you know, this new life. Um, we got the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So this is like, they're gonna wanna try to strategize. They may take a step back and really think logically, um, head over heart, like what, what do I need to do here to make these things work out? So I'm not just leaving the situation. I wanna work on it. I wanna offer the support. Like, I feel like fathers with this king of cups energy, this is very fatherly energy. I feel like fathers will be, they, they may have the desire to be supportive. Now they may have some, they may have some harsh things to say, especially if it wasn't something that they wanted. They may have some harsh things to say um, about it, but at the end of the day, they're going to be like, okay, let me be considerate. Let me be supportive of my child. You know, let me try to work this out. You know what I mean? So we got the two of pentacles. They're going to be faced with choices. People are really going to have to consider and weigh their options with the Two of Pentacles. That's what that's about, juggling. You're going to have to consider, can I juggle? Can I manage having a child? Am I ready for... Like, people are really going to have to start thinking before they act if abortion laws are to change. Let's see. 
next question. Next question I'm going to ask her is, will men become more faithful? Let's ask it. Let's, why not? <laughs> I'm going to say, will men and women become more faithful? Will the collective become more faithful spirit if abortion laws change? Let's see what the messages are. Please feel free to leave a comment below this video because I know it is a very sensitive topic, but um, I'm always open to um, dialogue. I'm an Aquarius, so <laughs> I'm always open to other people's perspectives, you know? I've never personally had an abortion, so I don't know what that's like, but and um, I know people have situations that happen, medical situations and all sorts of things. So, you know, let us let me know down in the comments how you think about the situation. Spirit with the collective become more self-aware, more responsible, more faithful. We got yes, yes, no. I always like to ask yes or no questions in threes, just so y'all know. Um, anyone who's booked a personal reading with me knows this <laughs> or even joined my live streams. I always like to ask yes or no questions in threes, just how I do it. All right. So we got, yes, they'll actually become more faithful. Now, people probably are going to argue with me in the comment section and I do not care. Um, but I, I honestly think that abortion laws changing is going to cause people to to have somewhat more um, come from a more a place of moral standards. That's just my personal opinion. I believe it's going to have people coming more from moral standards than anything. Start with the clutch to become more faithful if abortion laws change. You hear running? Rico is doing zoomies on my floor. He's doing zoomies on my floor. or not spirit yes or no yes okay so yeah it'll it'll definitely that's what it's looking like we got two yeses let's see if the last one is a yes will the collective become more faithful spirit Ooh. if abortion laws change enjoy doing this reading because I feel like I don't do like current event readings so I think I might start doing more of these So it looks like we got, so this is yes, yes, no. Thanks to sword something. Okay. So this is a no. But we got two yeses and one no. So it looks like yes overall. It looks like the collective could become more um, faithful in their relationships with, you know, if abortion laws were to change and let's say abortion became illegal, people would actually have to be willing to work through things and um, honestly practice safe sex because you wouldn't be out here just humping on any and everybody because you would understand that you have a moral obligation to the life or lives that you may create. Like I said, again, coming back to moral character, you're not just out here um, 
doing whatever, whatever feels good in the moment, because you understand that there are physical consequences um, to your actions, you know? So that's been that reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please leave a comment down below to let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on the topic. And until next time, love you guys.